वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 5.57 सो स्टेटमेंट इज ड्रॉ द शेयर एंड बेंडिंग मूवमेंट डायग्राम्स फॉर द बीम एंड लोडिंग शोन एंड डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस ड्यू टू बेंडिंग सो यू कैन सी दिस इज ओवर हैंगिंग बीम ए बी हैविंग अ पॉइंट लोड एट पॉइंट सी विच इज़ टू फिफ्टी किलो न्यूटन एंड एट पॉइंट बी वी हैव वन फिफ्टी किलो न्यूटन द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ बीम इज डब्ल्यू टेन बाई फोर टेन बाई वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन सो वी विल ड्रॉ द शेयर फोर्स एंड बेंडिंग मूवमेंट डायग्राम एंड देन वी विल डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन सो फर्स्ट स्टेप इज दैट इफ यू रिमूव दिस सपोर्ट सो देर विल बी अ रिएक्शन फोर्स विच इज आर ए एंड एट पॉइंट डी इफ यू रिमूव दिस रिएक्शन फोर्स सो इट विल बी इक्वल टू आर डी सो वी विल फाइंड द रिएक्शन फोर्सिस बाई यूजिंग इक्विलिवरम कंडीशन सो फर्स्ट इक्विलिवरम कंडीशन इज सम ऑफ ऑल मूवमेंट अबाउट पॉइंट डी इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड टेकिंग द काउंटर क्लाक वाइज मूवमेंट एज पॉजिटिव सो अबाउट पॉइंट डी वी हैव फर्स्ट मूवमेंट इज आर ए इन टू परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस इज फोर एंड दैट इज प्रोड्यूसिंग क्लाक वाइज सो इट विल बी नेगेटिव द सेकेंड मूवमेंट अबाउट पॉइंट डी इज सी टू फिफ्टी इन टू परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस इज टू एंड दिस विल प्रोड्यूस काउंटर क्लाक वाइज मूवमेंट सो इट विल बी पॉजिटिव The third movement is due to 150 kilo newton load and perpendicular distance is two, and this will be producing clockwise, so it will be negative. So their sum must be equal to zero. So I will write 4 R A, which is minus plus 250 into two, minus two into 150 is equal to zero. So when you calculate, you will get. आर ए इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी किलो न्यूटन नाउ यू कैन फाइंड आर बी बाई यूजिंग इन अदर इक्विलिब्रम कंडीशन दैट सम ऑफ ऑल फोर्स इलांग वाई डायरेक्शन मस्ट बी इक्वल टू जीरो एंड टेकिंग द अपवर्ड फोर्स एज पॉजिटिव सो आर ए विच इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी माइनस टू फिफ्टी प्लस आर डी माइनस So when you calculate it, you will get R D is equal to three fifty kilo newton. Now you have both R A and R D clear, so you can move to find the shear force. So first I will find the shear force, and then we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. Now you can see at point A shear force at A is equal to V A and that is equal to fifty kilo newton. Okay, now from A to C, when you move from A to C, you can see from A to C there is no other force, so it will be fifty. So V is equal to fifty. Now at from C to D, from C to D. When you move from C to D, so you can see the total shear force is R A minus two fifty. Clear? So we will write it. V is equal to fifty minus two fifty, which is equal to minus two hundred. And from D to B. Now, if you want to find the shear force from D to B, so you can see we have R A minus two fifty plus R D, and R D is three uh, fifty. So that will be equal to the shear force. So shear force is equal to fifty minus two fifty plus three fifty is equal to one hundred. Fifty and at the end B you can see this is minus one fifty. So we will draw the shear force diagram first, and then we will move toward bending moment. So if you take the vertical line from the end of this beam, clear, and there is a horizontal line to show the length of beam X in meter. So first let this is each division is equal to fifty. So this is hundred. And in on vertical axis we take uh, shear force. Similarly, this will be minus fifty, minus hundred, minus one fifty, minus two hundred kilonewton. 
so at point a we have 50 kilo newton so i will draw 50 this is your first point now this is your point c this is your point a this is your point c and this is your point d so at point a we have 50 now from a to c this will be 50 but you can see we have minus 250 at point c so 50 minus 250 will bring it to minus 200 so it will change to minus 200 now from c to d the shear force will remain same minus 200 so it will change it will remain same and at point d you have uh, rd which is plus 350 so 350 minus 200 will bring it to 150 so it shear force will change to 150 it will go to this point so this is 150 and then shear force from d to b is 150 and at point b we have minus 150 will bring it to zero so this is your shear force diagram now what about uh, bending moment diagram so bending moment diagram we will i will first explain and then we will draw so let here also one division is 50 kilo newton into meter this is 100 this is minus 50 minus 100 minus 200 and minus 300 if i draw a vertical line over here okay and from here as well now bending moment i will first write bending moment at point a because x is equal to zero so bending moment at point a is equal to zero bending moment at point c this is your point c this is your point d and this is your point b this is your point a so bending moment at point c is equal to area under the shear force diagram and this area is equal to uh, this area is equal to uh, 50 multiplied by this length which is 2 and that will be equal to 100 so i will write it 2 into 50 which is equal to 100 kilo newton into meter now bending moment at point d is equal to moment about point d is equal to uh, you can check it this is point d so this moment at point d will be equal to this area plus this area so this area is 100 and this area is minus 200 into 2 which is equal to minus 400 so total is 100 minus 400 is equal to minus 300 so movement about point d is equal to movement about point c plus uh, this area this area which is minus 200 into perpendicular distance is uh, sorry this c to d distance is 2 meter so mc is 100 minus 400 is equal to minus 300 kilo newton into meter this is movement about point d now movement about point uh, b is equal to movement th the, all these movements this areas which you can see that this is minus 300 and plus this area so this area is 150 into 2 which is equal to 300 so minus 300 plus 300 will equal to 0 so at point b we have moment about point b is equal to 0 so md plus uh, 150 into 2 so md is minus 300 plus 300 will bring it to zero this is movement about point b okay so let's plot this value and movement about point a is equal to zero so we will get zero movement about uh, movement at point c is 250 so it will be uh, this uh, sorry 
100 100 not 250 100 so this will be the first point now you can see that uh, shear force is a horizontal line so bending moment will be one degree higher and it will be a straight line so we will get this now this is your 100 now moment at point d is equal to minus 300 so you can just choose minus 300 is this point clear and you can see that shear force is a horizontal line and this is negative one so also this area is negative so bending moment will be one degree higher and the slope will be decreasing so we will get these two if you join these two points so we will get it like this this is minus 300 kilo newton into meter now moment about point b is equal to zero so this will be the, your last point so you will also get the curve uh, the line will be straight and slope will be increasing because you can see the shear force is a horizontal line and this area is positive so this will be increasing one degree line and increasing now you have this uh, this is your shear force diagram shear force diagram and this is your bending moment diagram bending moment diagram now we will move toward our second part and in second part we have been asked to find the maximum bending stress that is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i so maximum bending moment from the shear force diagram that is absolute maximum bending moment that is equal to minus 300 and this value will give you plus 3 kilo newton into meter and what about uh, c and i so we know that if i divide both side by uh, up numerator and denominator by c so it will cancel and we will left with i divided by c which is equal to section modulus so for w 410 by 100 foot rolled steel we will get the value of s from the property table so let's move and check that value so if you go at the end of this book not this one if you go to the end of the book that is about uh, properties uh, appendix c property of rolled steel so w 410 by 114 so you have to locate it now i will show you this is 410 by 114 and you can get sx is 2200 into 10 raised to power 3 cubic millimeter so note this value S is equal to 2200 into 10 to power 3 cubic millimeter and in meter it will equal to 2200 into 10 to power minus 6 cubic meter now you have maximum bending stress uh, bending moment so you can just put the value 300 kilo newton into meter so 300 into 10 to power 3 and you unit will be in newton into meter divided by s which is 2200 into 10 to power minus 6 cubic meter so you will get maximum bending stress comes out to be 13 one, 136.4 into 10 to power 6 pascal and in mega pascal this maximum bending stress equal to 136.4 mega pascal so this is the answer of our second part and that was all about problem 5.57 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you are you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section and i will try my best to answer you thank you